Hey everybody and welcome to another My Two Cents video. Um, for those that are new to my channel or haven't seen one of my reviews, you know, since you've been subscribed to my channel, um, these are my reviews. It's just My Two Cents. So today, um, for review, I am going to be doing the, excuse me, I have notes, uh, Dr. Dinesh Mitostem Clinical Perfecting Day Treatment for Pores and Lines. That's what it looks like. And it's just in it's just a tube. Just just um, kind of squirts out. It is available only on QVC.com. It is not available in a separate purchase. Before I continue, um, this was sent to me by Dr. Janess. Now before you, you know, click out, let me finish. Um, she doesn't know who I am. She doesn't know who I am. I'm not special or anything. She doesn't send this to me to review. Um, what happened was there was a chat and we were all logged in for the chat and something happened and the system crashed. She sent everybody that was listed. She has people on Facebook that kind of get in touch with us and got in touch with all of us on Facebook and got our addresses and said she was going to send us a little gift, kind of a sorry for your trouble kind of situation. <clears throat> and that's, this is what we all got. So, um, it was technically a gift. It had, you know, she didn't send it to me for review or anything. You know, it had nothing to do with that. But I was so impressed with it that I thought that I would you know, share that with you. Um, I've never played with any Dr. Dinesh products before. I, it's a little overwhelming. I don't have a lot of signs of aging, you know, so I always feel like that's for those that have a little more advanced signs of aging. I don't have fine lines and wrinkles anymore. Thank you, Argon Oil. You know, I use, you know, when I used to have little wrinkles here, don't anymore. Thank you, Argon Oil. So, you know, I, I don't have the skin concerns that someone my age normally does. And for those of you that don't know, I'm 37. So, you know, those my age usually have, you know, some lines and some things, and I don't have those because um, Argon Oil saved my life. And that's a whole nother thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, getting back to the review, this does not come in a separate purchase. It does come with the Mitostem Clinical Perfecting Concentrate. Um, it's a night serum, basically. Um, so, you would use this in the day, and then you would use that at night. Now, the way that I use it is a little different. The um, directions a little confused me, and sometimes things do that. But it says, apply in the morning for a flawless and poreless appearance. Follow with an SPF day defense cream and the foundation of your choice. Well, her SPF day defense cream, as far as I know, is sort of like a BB cream, sort of like a tin and moisturizer. Since I've never used it, I don't know. I'm going by other people I know that have used it. It kind of blurs your imperfections. To me, it kind of seems like a tin and moisturizer. Um, and in my mind... Um, it it felt like the, it felt like they were saying use your SPF product after the primer, which completely is against every rule of my world. My SPF product in my moisturizer, you know, I I I use um, Josie Marin or Yes to Grapefruits. I put that on first, and then I put on my primer, and then I put on whatever facial foundation type product into moisturizer. So to me it just felt odd to apply this without a, without a moisturizer is the way that I took it. Now maybe I'm too literal but here's how I use it and this is the way I figure most people will use it. I do my normal skin care all the way up through my SPF moisturizer and then I put on this primer and then I put Whatever foundation I'm using, powder, liquid, tinted, you get the point. I have not had a problem with this. It, it, um, now, I only have tin and moisturizer. Um, I am out of my BB cream. I'm out of my Josie Marin serum foundation. I'm out of all that. But I, you know, whatever foundation that I've used has went on just brilliantly. Um, it dries down like that. 
I've had some that they, and it doesn't feel, it just feels nice putting on. When I put it, put on other um, foundation primers, sometimes they feel kind of slick or greasy, or they take like 10 minutes to dry down, or you're going to screw up your powder foundation, which is what I wear more often. So, um, the, uh, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, anyway, so it comes, um, in a duo, um, the QVC number is A238076. I will have that information linked below just in case you need it. Um, or below in the description box. Um, it is called the Mito Stem Clinical Skin Perfecting Duo. It is currently at a featured price of $49.96. Um, considering you get two products, I don't consider that a bad deal. Back when I wore Bare Minerals, before I went cruelty free, um, back when I was purchasing that, um, I do believe that their primer was like $22 to $25, something like that. And I bought that sucker all the time. So, But it does say that the day treatment helps to firm and smooth skin. I can't speak to firming benefits, but all primer smooth skin. So it, it's... If it has firming benefits, obviously it would take longer for that to show up. But, um, and looking at the ingredients, I do want to go over the ingredients because I know some of us are allergic to certain things, avoid certain things, so I'm going to go over that with you too. Um, it has dimethicone, obviously it's a silicone primer, dimethicone cross polymer, um, al alurites, molycana seed oil, tetrahexyldesyl, I can't pronounce these words, asorbate, which is vitamin C. Why can't they just put vitamin C? Um, I'm just going to read the actual names of what it is and not look make myself look any more stupid. Um, let's see, the next one is brown algae. Um, it has soybean, seed extract, ceramide 2, vitamin E, vitamin A, sunflower, seed cake, uh, barley extract, cucumber extract, propylene, glycol, decaprate, PEG-10 dimethicone, water, mica, and phenoxyethanol. And the only thing that I know is I've heard bad things about propylene glycol and phenoxyethanol. But you make that decision on your own because, you know, I can't tell you um, what to buy and what not to buy. But from performance perspective alone, I definitely recommend that you check it out. But if you are avoiding phenoxyethanol, propylene glycol, um, then of course this is something you should pass on. Um, but that's my review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was informative, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.